going on guys? Welcome back to Memory Lane Comics and Toys. I'm Jake. And I'm Eric. I'm here with a specialty series, the review of Batgirl. Da -na 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 Batgirl! So awesome. Uh, the specialty series has been great. Me and Jake have been talking a lot lately. So many of these big box stores are getting these specialty pops that we can't get. All these exclusives. Get. And we, we hate it because, you know, sometimes they're ones we really want. Well, yep. Funko has finally answered our prayers. And there is a specialty series just for guys like us. Yeah, it's been really cool to get all. You know, we've had Elka Bong, we have Iceman coming Dude, up. Dude, that Iceman looks the world. so good. Uh, they, I mean, they're fantastic, and it's been really fun just to be able to get stuff that, that well, no one else is getting. Well, we have people driving in from you know a couple cities away that say we're the only place they know where to get a specialty series, and that's just phenomenal that we're able to offer something for everybody. And I so really like that. For that, thank you, Funko, for doing the specialty series thing. Uh, under the review, we're digging this thing, man. That girl. Uh, the box art has been pretty cool right out of the gate. I like that they have the kind of uh, classic 70s uh, logo there for Batgirl, and you've got some cut up comics behind the logo and the and the actual text. It looks really cool. It's weird. They keep doing more and more of the DC pops, and as if you look on the back, they're saying this Batgirl, I guess, is supposed to be the same series it's as like color variant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, because this here, I guess there's going to be a regular black and yellow Batgirl, which is pretty cool, but. I really like this blue and gray. Yeah. The box is cool. Um, it's standard Funko, whether you're in box or out of box collector, they really are trying to take care of you. As much as we like the box, let's talk about the pop. Let's I think the pop is what's really it's all about. She's pretty cool, man. I'm digging the uh, for, right out of the gate. I love the pose there with yeah. the battering. It's really solid. Sassy. Um, one very concern that you can tell right out of the gate that yellow spray paint is on almost all of their legs. We've had a yeah. trouble kind of checking that out. It's, uh, I don't know if A lot of overspray. Yeah, I feel like I noticed that on a lot of exclusive pops that happens. Um, you see you see where they, you're, they're supposed to hit just the boots or just the belt or something, and it gets a little Misses. bit of paint everywhere. Well, and yeah, um, it's definitely right around the leg line, right where it goes into the boot. All of the gray and blue look perfect. So yeah. it's weird to me the yellow is where they struggle, but maybe it's just because when it starts to spray down, that's kind of where they have a problem. Uh, I'm assuming that it's it's a you know it's a it's a gray base. This is a blue base as far as the actual plastic. Right? So it just pops out. So yeah. it's well, it's just because the yellow is the actual paint on this figure there. And we got uh, 16 of these in, and I think we picked one of the better ones. A few of them, the symbol. Anytime they do a symbol on the chest, mm -hmm. for some reason it seems that it sometimes comes a little off. Which yeah. I guess that's some, one of the hardest things to do. This one, not so much. Just like the Iron Fist we talked about earlier, they really did a good job. Yeah, they're getting better and better at that stuff. You rarely see them out of place mm -hmm. at all or anything anymore. I mean, the hairline... You, you Look know, at those you pearls. Notice, so if, awesome. If you're an out-of-box collector, you do notice a little bit of the paint mm -hmm. gets a little wonky in the back sometimes. But yeah, they, they nailed the actual hair. Yeah, it, you know, they did a way where these are just little bitty curl tips and it gives me a full flow for how Batgirl is supposed to look. You know, her hair always flows out in that curling motion. Yeah. Another cool thing they've done is, you know, this isn't really an action pose. I know it's a posing one, but the cape has just a tiny bit of movement. You yep. know what I mean? It's just blowing a little bit more to the right, which is cool, because, you know, it's kind of like that um, Earth One Batman they did, where the cape was just draping behind Yeah, it. and I'm digging this stuff. Anything that's got an action pose to it kind of makes fun your Funkos look a little bit cooler right I think I always loved Funko. They make everything for everybody, but when they started switching to the action poses, and, you know, on the girls, they now have the slimmer body, which makes sense to me. The pops always look so similar. Yeah. And then they started doing these, because, like, Batgirl... This looks more like Batgirl than any of the other ones they've done. Definitely. And it's simply, I think it's the body and the pose, you know. Um, they don't do much with the eyes, but those little eyelashes make it. You yeah. know what I mean? It's all the little details that Funko does in these that are just blows I mean, me away. All in all, based off the sculpt, I think this is definitely one to grab. If you're, you know, if you're not digging that pa the paint job as much, grab the black and the black. And It'll probably be so a little less. You've got a couple of options, um, but yeah, it's a it's a solid pop. Check if you guys out. don't have a shop near you, um, you know, and you can make it here, come check these out. Especially the series, like we we really are in love with these, and you know, Barbara Gordon taking it home. She's the best. best. It's great. 